Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Delaware was the first of the original 13 colonies to join what became the good old USA. That's why they call it the first state. Delaware also likes to refer to itself as small wonder. It's so small, it's only got three counties, and that's with the tide out. In the low and slow county of Sussex, Bruce Reeder, a pretty big guy, has some pretty small wonders of his own to show us. And these are my little toy elves. Yep, Bruce's collection of toy small wonders includes one of every model of John Deere's famous Series L. Uh, this is a Herc engine styled L. This is a Model 62. Each one of these little toys, they have a tiny little dipstick on them that comes out of there. And as small as they are, the steering works on them. Everything works on these things there. The detail is unreal. This is a Model LI. This is a Model LA. And this is a Model Unstyled L right here. That's the five of them. This is a 1938 Unstyled L. But the John Deere L's don't have to be toys to be small wonders. Ask Bruce Reeder, he'll tell you. The full-size John Deere L's are small, and they're pretty wonderful, too. And I enjoy the L's. Uh, they're small. They will fit in the back of a full-size pickup truck. They're small, and they're simple. Okay. And I'm big and simple, so. <laughs> How deep does Bruce's affection for the John Deere L run? Well, here's a guy who has done what almost no one else has ever done. Collect and restore one each of all five of the Series L models. And it took me 10 years to do the trip from when I bought the first one until I finished the tractors that were in the on the picture in the calendar. That's right. Bruce's collection made such a big impression, it ended up getting its very own month, the month of April on the 2002 Classic Farm Tractors calendar. What to do for an encore? Well, Bruce did what any self-respecting John Deere Model L nut would do. He went out and sold his entire collection. That way, he could start all over again, finding and restoring another 62, another unstyled L, another styled L, an LI, and an LA. What could be better than that? John, what brings you here today? Hey, Bruce, where are you working? <laughs> yes, it's classic well, tractor space. fever's own John Harvey. Poor fella, he just can't resist a great new tractor collection in the making, especially when something really out of the ordinary happens to catch his eye. Okay, Bruce, uh, tell us, most people would not have any idea what these things are on this, on this wheel. What are they and what were their purpose? Do I have time to look it up in a book? <laughs> these are mud lugs. They were made probably late 30s, early 40s. The deal was, or the purpose of, if you got bogged down in the mud, that these things were supposed to not kick the mud out, but kick the mud underneath your tire and give you more traction. We've already seen the unstyled L in action. Now John's raring to go to get the Model 62 fired up. This is a 1937 Model 62. It was the forerunner of the L. In 37, they made 78 of these. They shipped. 72 of them, and it was right now is about 47 or 48 in the country. The L was the first John Deere to offer rubber tires as standard equipment. It had a standard automotive gear shift and a foot-operated clutch. Why did John Deere come up with the Model L series in the first place? They're, they're trying to have a motorized for a one-horse farm, for the little small truck farmers and all. This thing, you know, there's not a ton of these out west where there's 14 million acres of farmland. These things just don't do the job out there. But these little small truck farms, you know, a one-horse farm, this a little small family farm, they, they tried them and they sure did fit the bill. John Deere used three frames, by the way. They used a thin wall frame on the 62s and the unstyled L's and some of the styled L's. This has a thin wall frame on it. You can see the frame pretty good on this tractor here. And then they used a thick wall frame on most of the LIs and they use a solid frame on the LA. So you, you could have an L and still have three different frames. Three types of frames, two types of tin, styled and unstyled. What's the difference? On the style tractors, they come out, they had many more curved lines on them. They had a grill on them so you couldn't see the radiator. 
they went to a tin belly pan or chin, whatever, there's a million terms for it. Then they brought it back, more curves to it, brought it down and covered the thing, made it look a little more streamlined. I mean, other than that, it's basically the same tractor completely. There's a lot of parts interchangeable on both of them. I have more fun with these tractors. And the, the fun part is to find the parts that are impossible to find. I mean, when somebody says, you'll, you'll never find one of them, and then when you can't find it, then you get somebody to make it for you. Yes, Bruce is utterly unapologetic when it comes to discussing his love of Model Ls. I'm a tractor nut. I mean, I would rather look at tractors than a lot of other things, really, but I just enjoy them. It's, it's fun for me. In fact, I'm very seriously thinking about starting a Tractors Anonymous program in the country, 12-step program to get people unhooked off of this thing, because you can get addicted to, tra to tractors, and I'm one of them, I'll tell you right now. Bruce's lovely wife, Gladys, is an understanding soul, mostly. She, she tolerates me. That's, that's about the best thing I can say. But tolerance is good. It's the glue that keeps many a marriage from coming apart at the seams, especially when classic tractors are involved. I don't say I dream about them, but I sure think about them. And I talk about them a lot, more so than I should, really. That's what I told you. That's why I want to get this Tractors Anonymous program going, because I think it'll be a hit with a lot of the wives in the country. Hear that, wives of America? Hope may be out there coming your way on an itty-bitty green John Deere tractor. One thing for sure, if it works on Bruce, it'll work on anybody. But to tell you the truth, we're not holding our breath. <laughs>